to the, this is Calvin. I am with the Groovy Guppy, and today we're going to do the beginnings of a, a uh, to learn how to aquascape your tank. You know, we can all run down to the pet store and buy a building and stick it in there and call it aquascape. You know, a lot of us want to have something that looks a little bit better, or at least original. And my stuff's, I'm, I'm just getting, I'm new to this aquascape. I'm going to show you a little trick I learned today, and this trick is actually two poles. I made a couple yesterday, and my mic didn't work. So, put my new mic up. Now, what I did yesterday is I put it on one of these, and I made a bed for my new Indian, I don't know what they call them, a dwarf pufferfish. And they lay their eggs on a bed of java moss. So, I did the same technique what I'm going to do within you see this part to this yesterday to make a bed. But today I'm actually going to do a little slate work with some uh, java moss on it. So what I'm going to need is a, a little java moss. It's uh, all I have, so if I need more I'm in trouble. And this was a, um, uh, what do you call them, uh, bath towel, uh, you know, like that. I cut it open with my razor blade here, handy dandy razor blade. Did that yesterday when the bike didn't work. And I'm going to need a hot glue gun. And uh, for this project, uh, I'm going to want some slate. So all I did for this slate, right here, okay, right here, some big old piece of slate. Went to Home Depot, and I think it was five or six bucks per piece, and I bought two of them. Now what I want to do is build a slate bridge with a little java moss growing in the back of it. Just a small little project to give you a clue what you can do with just a few cheap items and you can build a little scape in a small tank or a big tank and you buy more of it. So the first thing, nobody wants this completely square stuff in it, what's going to be look like a rock scape. So you'll need one of these. This is its hollow. And now this is my first attempt at this, so this may not go as well as I'm done. I'm gonna Kind of chill the corners off here. Okay. So you take a little pieces off right here. Okay. The reason I'm doing that, and I actually think I'm going to turn it over by the way it broke. I'm going to put the what I was going to be the bottom side down because it broke upwards. So what I'm trying to do is take the edge off so it doesn't look like it's square. I'm going to put this back down there so we don't have to spray all over. And I'm going to turn this mic off for a few minutes, and I'm going to bang this out. But that's all. I'm going to put in, get pretty much what I bang on, and I'm going to have to work with the pieces I get when this breaks. And this will break. I'm going to convince you this with a handy dandy rock. If you put a rock under it and hit it somewhere else, so that you have a better shot of cracking, which we're going to do. But you guys probably don't want to hear me banging all day, so I'm going to stop the tape and break this up into pieces so we can continue. Got it? Just leave it like that. Okay. I have busted up my slate with a hammer. Got lots of little pieces. And then on the first thing, let me move the camera down a little bit so you can watch that in front of me. Ah, that didn't work at all, did it? How about that? Okay. I don't know if you can see this or not. But basically, I've put together a little skate. Now I am no artist, but I wanted something that looked natural and I wanted to be able to put some moss on it. So here's what the plan is. I'm going to take these stacks right here, okay, and I'm going to make sure that none of the flat edges are out front and put glue all this together with hot glue right here, hot glue right here. And now I'm going to come back here after I get this glued. I'm just going to stack, glue, stack, glue, stack these shale together. Get any pattern you like. It's You know, when you're doing aquascapes, it's not, we all can't do these awesome scapes that we see. I mean, we really can, but this is my first scape. This is my first, well, create something like this. I've not tried this yet. I've done a few other things. I've, you know, put some rocks in a tank and arranged them with leaves and, Weeds, that's what I call plants. 
But uh, this is my first aquascape, and I'd rather have something like this than something I went and paid 30 or 40 bucks for that 40 of my friends have. You know, I can go down to Walmart and buy a SpongeBob, throw my tank, but, you know, half the tanks in town have a SpongeBob in them. Um, I like the natural look, and that's that's me. Okay, You can do what you like. I mean, I had a, an idea the other day. Uh, my grandkids want Minecraft tanks. I want to go down and buy a plastic Minecraft thing about yay tall. Stick in the tank. It's it's aquascape. But, for, you know, I don't want a Minecraft tank, personally. I want a natural looking tank. So I'm going to glue this together. Uh, let me stop this one gluing this. All you need is a little glue gun, a little glue, glue it together. I think most of you know how to do that. And when I get back to getting the job moss to stay on top of here, I'll bring you back and show you how to do that. I want to turn this down just a little bit. Oh, I can see it or not. I'll get this again, but I want to try to adjust. There you go. Okay. Here's my mess. Okay. Okay, the top is glued, but it ain't going to stick, I don't think. I think because of the awkwardness of it, but it's okay. It'll sit on there when I'm done. I got two stacks, the inner stack, and this is the only one that didn't stick. And I may have not got it on there in time, so I'm going to pull all this glue off of here. And one thing about not sitting on there permanently, I can take this apart easier, take it out of the tank easier, clean under it or something, you know. So I got my two pillars, I'm going to set this on there. Now, I didn't want this to look like a perfectly flattened top, you know, like, like it's a floor, which is what it was. So, and I want some Java moss growing up here like it's a little plateau in, in, in the back, up on the hills. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this, like we showed, I'm going to cut a piece of this off. i got a razor blade, and I don't know how this stuff's kind of a little messy to work with sometimes. So I'm going to cut a piece of this off. And this, believe it or not, when you buy those things comes in the shape of a tube. So I don't need the tube on this one. I did use the tube when I did that. To set it in and wrap it around and glue it on the back. It was kind of I'm not the neatest artwork. But anyway, here's how, how this is gonna go. So I'm basically gonna get the this these little small rocks right here are gonna be the glue to hold that down. I'm going to trim this up so it doesn't go so far out to the edges. Trim it, just trim it. You got to trim it to fit under your rock so you don't see the edges. I don't want to see this. When this moss grows up, I won't see any of this stuff. Okay? And this is how you get you get it to stick like this and like that. Okay? There we go. And all I'm going to do is take my glue gun. And this melts when the glue to the gets on it. So I'm going to put this on here. Put a little glue on here. See this? I'm just gluing this here. Then I'm going to slap it down. I don't care if it melts a little bit under there. It's slapped down. It's holding that down. By the way, I discovered this yesterday. You may know this if you've worked with a high glue gun. This stuff's hot. I put my finger on it yesterday. Several times I glued my finger. Um, not recommended as part of the project. Okay? Try to avoid the glue. It's called hot glue for a reason, I guess. The groovy guppy wasn't too groovy yesterday. He was dancing with warm fingers. Okay. Okay. I'm back here. What I've done now is I got this glued around here and I got this little and wolf right here. See this right here? I could have left one more piece, but I got carried away and forgot about you guys. Sorry. My guppies were wanting to see the new bridge. My shrimp were wanting to see the new bridge. Now, when you're working with this java moss, I'm going to caution you. Don't let it dry out. It dries out pretty quickly and it can die. Now, java moss is a kind of a weird plant. It doesn't have roots. It just keeps growing. So, we're going to use that, and if it breaks, it keeps growing and, 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 and getting taller and taller. But the break-off piece will grow again. You know, here comes the problem. It just floats all around your tank. Now, I don't use over-the-head, over-the-top filters. I use canisters, so it just floats around in there. The canisters, it can actually get stuck in them. You know, you end up sucking them up into there, but 
Um, what I wanted to do is stay in one spot so it's part of my landscape. Okay, so that's how I'm going to keep it down here. And as this grows taller here, I can trim it off and, and use it more. Eventually, the tank will fill up with it if I want to, if I want to let some float around. But I want to control it to make it look prettier, at least try to. So if you look at it, it's just a bunch of little pieces, all this is. It's just trimmed off. A little bit of java moss trimmed off, just a little bit here. So I've been keeping it wet while I'm making a video. So what I want to do is I'm going to take just a little bit, because it spreads. I'm going to slide it down. I'm going to slide I'm going to slide it down, and I probably should have left one more off, but and I'm going to put it up underneath this pouch right here. And this pouch is going to keep it in place, and it will grow right through this stuff. You know, they have this in the craft department at a lot of craft stores. I use the, uh, the soap one because it's got a slightly larger mesh than my craft department had. Uh, with the line mark there. So. I did that. And I'm just putting it, going to spread this little sample of this out here. And Java moss can be kind of expensive. You go to Bryce Plants. Um, I don't, I'm not affiliated with him, but he sells it in good, a good size quantity. And uh, if, you, if you don't have it at your local pet store, a lot of pet stores just do not carry it. Uh, and uh, it's kind of expensive. And this little cup here was at my pet store is $3.50. And I don't. My Java Moss had a disaster a couple of weeks ago, which we're not going to discuss. Okay? But I'm going to stuff a little, overstuff this just a little bit here. Because I want it to take off here. And now, I got that down there, and I'm going to just take. And I took these shrapnel, and these are just flakes, is how I got this like that. These are just flakes that were out and about here. I don't know well, hot glue sticks to water, but. I don't have a little bit of moisture there. I don't think it matters. I think it's pretty not too picky. Glue that down there. And that java loss has a new home. Now, until it grows up, you're going to see the mesh. Okay? And you can go around and trim this off the edges back here a little bit, but I'm not going too worried about it right there. I may go do this. Any access? Just take your razor blade that I told you to have around, or to get to tell you. But anyway, trim it up with a razor blade, make it look pretty. So you can have groovy-looking guppy things. Now, guppies aren't really what I built this for. This is for shrimp. Shrimp like the one of the things. Fish like to go here. My quarries like to go stuff. But this also gives them a platform to walk around, a line of sight thing, and gives me more level for my from my shrimp. It's just a small tank, so it's just a small one. It also makes the tank look more natural. Uh, shrimp will live in these kind of things, so this is kind of something, and these are a little edge, you can probably knock them off, but I want you to want a bunch of tool marks, so there's what you're going to have. I'm going to go put in my tank, and that my camera, unfortunately, I'm on my uh, wired camera, so I'm not going to be able to put it in the tank. But well, hopefully I'll get a picture of this in a, in a few weeks when this goblin moss parks up and you'll we'll see how this looks. But this is my first attempt at this. But you see it's nice and easy. It's not that hard. I hope this helps. You have a great day.